Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other night, a young lady was asking for some help drawing a tab, or a, she called it a tab or a key box. And I, I drew one. And then today, I've added a center, uh, another shelf. And I want to show you how to do that real quick. But also, the tabs work well. I am going to share this file on my Facebook page, Corel Draw File Share on Facebook under, I think I'm going to call it Wedge Shelf. But it worked really well. I was a little concerned because, you know, these part of the shelf, this part's going to be sticking out. But it really worked well. Matter of fact, I only have it oriented the picture right. Uh, this will keep it off the floor or off your, off your desk or whatever. The, if you're doing this for a young child or a young girl, uh, it kind of has its own stand. Uh, right now, it's setting on the wedges that it works, but if you flip this around, uh, so it actually adds to it a little bit. And so this would actually be the top. But I drew this the other night, just a couple of little insights. Here's the wedges. This will work pretty much with any eighth inch plywood or any eighth inch material. Uh, the joints are a little sloppy which is good because the wedges really make it tight. I was really surprised once you put these, I think there's 16 wedges in there and just kind of press them in with your finger. But just a little insight on these wedges. If you will cut them out and also cut out on a piece of your stock and take a piece of blue masking tape and mask them down because they're going to fall. Some of them are going to fall if you have a, like a fusion where you have, if you just have a regular honeycomb bed, they won't fall. But if you have a fusion where it's got a half inch, some of them could fall through. And there's actually a little box trick you can make to make them even let fall through and drop down in the box. And I'm here, we, here pretty quick, I'm going to be making a video on that. So before you take them out later, put some masking tape down, turn it over, go sand them off, put masking tape on the other side. And then sand off the other side. These little parts will be a lot easier to sand. Please sand your work. I get people that show their work with the burn marks and stuff. But anyway, I drew this the other night. And, and uh, this is really easy. The center ones don't have the tabs. So we're just going to make one real quick. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'll get this one out of the way. So you, you're going to need six pieces for this shelf. We're going to break this apart ungroup it and I'm going to get rid of those center tabs because the center one does not have tabs. Now my box and if you draw mine is four inches wide so we're going to draw a two inch by 0.13 slot and my ratio is locked so I need to go 0.13 again. Then I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. This is very, very simple. Grab both of them and hit B like in the bottom. And you really only have to make one of these. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete out that slot. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And then move it out of the way. Get, get rid of this one so you won't make a mistake. And then go up here to the X and left click and right click a hairline. Just make sure it's a hairline. And then you just need two of these. They're ambidextrous, so they're going to fit. You can see these work and they just slide in to themselves. One of them's in the back, one of them's in the front. But I am going to share this file and um, cut it out if you like or draw your own. Uh, I've got several videos on this exact subject. So in a little while, I will share it on Corel, Draw, File, Share, just like it's typed. Anyway, I hope that was a little bit entertaining, and thank you for watching.